a group in power by can have different meanings depending on what you're referring to. There are two main contexts where you might create a group in power by. 1. Grouping visuals in power by reports. This method lets you visually organize related charts, graphs, and other visuals on a report page for improved layout and user experience. To create a group, 1. Select the first visual you want to include in the group. 2. Hold down the control key and click on any additional visuals you want to include. 3. Right click on any of the selected visuals and choose group from the context menu. 4. Optional, you can rename the group by clicking on it and typing in a new name. Benefits, improves report organization and clarity. Allows you to apply formatting and interactions to the group as a whole. Enables easier manipulation and movement of grouped visuals. 2. Creating groups in the data model. This method creates groups within your data model, allowing you to categorize and segment data for filtering, calculations, and analysis. To create a group, 1. Go to the Modeling tab in Power by Desktop. 2. Select the table containing the column you want to group. 3. Right click on the column and choose New Group. 4. In the Groups window, configure the group settings like name, grouping method, and bin size if applicable. 5. Click OK to create the group. Benefits Streamlines analysis by segmenting data into categories. Enables creation of measures and calculations specific to each group. Enhances user interaction with reports through dynamic filtering based on groups. Remember, the specific steps and context for creating a group will depend on your intended purpose. Additional notes. Grouping visuals only affects their presentation on the report page, not the underlying data or calculations. Data model groups directly impact how your data is structured and analyzed within Power BI. Choose the appropriate method based on your specific needs and data model design. Feel free to ask further questions or provide more information about your desired outcome to receive more specific guidance on creating groups in Power BI.